Hello everyone and welcome back to Crafting Made Easy. For this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a mock-up in Cricut Design Space. Okay, so I had a order for a crop top um, and it's not on my website because I didn't um, offer the crop top, but she wanted it in a crop top. So of course, I'm like, of course, you know, I can um, put it on a crop top, no problem, because I can get the shirts from jiffyshirts.com and it won't be an issue or anything like that. And I'll just press it onto, you know, press the image that she wanted onto the crop top. So that's not an issue. However, I was thinking, well, maybe I should offer crop tops on my website, but I didn't want to use the uh, mock-ups that may not depict the shirt that I can actually buy, if that makes sense. So I don't want to, because I usually get my mock-ups from placeit.com. I have an account with them. Um, I will check to see how much I pay per month. But I believe you can pay yearly or you can do like a monthly thing. So I'll look that up and put it down there in the description box below. Um, they also do have a couple free ones um, scattered around on their site. So if you don't want to pay the monthly fee, you can always go to placeit.com and um, or is it placeit.net? I'll look it up, but I'll put it down in the description box. But um, you can always click on their free mock-ups and pick from those ones that you want to use on your website or on your Instagram page or what have you. Um, I wanted a variety, so I um, went ahead and pay for the monthly fee. At any rate, um, I didn't want to use a mock-up on their site that didn't quite match the shirt because I wanted to look like the shirt that I'm going to sell. So the um, basic like t-shirts, the unisex t-shirts, those those are like regular t-shirts, but they are a different type of, and they are a different type of t-shirts too because they're v-neck and etc. However, you can always get a shirt that matches. But the crop top, you can have like a tight crop top or you can have like a flowy crop top or something of that nature. So I didn't want to get a picture off of their site and then go to jiffy um, jiffyshirts.com and they don't even have that particular shirt. So now I'm searching all over the world for that shirt that's in the um, mock-up. So I um, decided to make my own mock-up based off of the shirt from jiffy dot, jiffy, mm, jiffyshirts.com. So what I'm going to do is just show you how to do it if you want to do it yourself and it's not that difficult it is time consuming because um, the picture can take a while to upload into Cricut but other than that it's not um, that difficult so what I what you do is you first you go to um, jiffyshirts.com you go to the particular shirt that you want to um, purchase or are thinking about purchasing so this shirt right here this is the particular crop top the girl wanted it in a pink shirt so this is the pink shirt here but I'm not offering I probably won't offer colors on the site um, I'm just gonna stick with basic white and black on the um, on my website for this particular shirt um, she does want it in pink if someone has a request for a specific color then I'll be like okay no worries I can go ahead and get that shirt for you it'll be a little extra than what is on the website but um for my website i'm just going to pick black and white so what i what you do is you just go here you screenshot this um page then you go to the folder where your screenshots are at and mine's is right here uh, there we go so you just open up that screenshot and of course you want to clean it up because you don't want all of this on your um mock-up so you just go to crop and you want to get it as clean as you can and if you want to leave this in here to show like how the shirt looks front to back that's fine too i probably will not do that because um, if you do that, the design won't be in this little box right here. I mean, you probably can make it small enough and put it in there, but I just don't feel like going through all those changes. So I'm just going to do this here. And if you don't want the girl's face, because it may not go with your um, theme, you can just go here, crop that out, save copy. Right. 
So some pictures on my website is just basically a shirt and some are faces, but I kind of like it. It's cleaner without the face, so I kind of like it better like that. Um, however you have your website, do it the way you um, have it set up on your stuff. So then you... Oh, I didn't. Well, my computer is moving extra slow, so I do apologize for that. So anyway, you open up your Cricut Design Space. You go to Upload. Then you upload your image, which will be your um, crop top. And I swear I clicked it. My computer is like moving <laughs> super slow. <laughs> or it might be cricket, cause okay, there we go. All right, then you go to browse, of course, and then shots, and I'll scroll all the way down to my clean picture. Pop it in there. Then you'll hit. I always hit complex. And then if you want to, you can clean up the background and it'll just look like a regular um, PNJ. And you just get into the crevices. And right, you can make sure everything is cleaned up and you hit preview. And I always hit preview just to make sure I got all of the white out of the picture. Sometimes you can do it with one click, and then sometimes um, you can't. Yeah, I think it's Cricut Design Space. It's just moving extra slow tonight. Of course, when I want to record a video. Because now it's just twirling. All right. Okay, so it looks like I may have gotten... Well, I missed the spot over here. So... And it doesn't really matter if you get all the white out. And I don't particularly name my stuff. So anyway, you hit your image because that's the one you want to use. All right. And I'm just going to pick this shirt, right? This um, image right there. All right. Oh, it uploaded fast. Look at that. Okay. Sometimes it'll come in real slow to picture. Okay, so this is what you'll do. You'll make your picture big. And then whatever image you want to put on your shirt, you just make it to where it fits the shirt. You see it went behind the shirt. So then you just go to arrange, center front, and you align it on the shirt the way you want it to. And there you go. And then you would just, now you can make it smaller or bigger. It won't be as big on your shirt. Well, I know some people cut and print, or cut, not cut and print, um, make their vinyl as big as the shirt. Some make it um, to fit the shirt perfectly. So however you want it on your shirt, sometimes it's big in the picture. And then I just put down in the thing, um, image will be such and such size. Cause you may want to make it big so they can see what the image is, but just make sure that you put in your description box on your website that the image will fit the shirt or uh, will be XYZ size, nine inches big or something like that. However big you are making your image. Because if you make it big on a shirt and it looks like it's covering up the whole shirt, well, that's just ridiculous, but <laughs> it looks like it's covering up the shirt and then they get the shirt and then it's like, this little then they're gonna be like well, what that's not how the picture looks so just make sure you put it in your description box that um image is larger on shirt for detail image will be um if it's like what a medium shirt image will be 9.2 by such and such on your in your description box just so nobody can come back and write a bad review on your um site all right, so I'm going to leave it at that size right there. All right, that's cute. And then what I'll do is I'll just screenshot this. 
So that is screenshot. And then also, if you don't want your background to be white, like your um, maybe your website colors are, because my, my website colors are basically the colors of my logo. So like the light blue, dark blue, um, white. So I typically use like a gray um, background or sometimes a white background. So this white will be fine for me. But if you're background is typically gray you can go to here where it says blank canvas click that it'll pop up your color and then you'll just change your color so now your background is that gray background so then you just print screen go here to wherever your screenshots are again you can go there you um crop all this all this mess out because you don't want all that cricket mess and all that other stuff so then you'll um do that and then you just crop it however whatever size you wanted to crop it All right, and since my background is not white, this um, white right here is popping out. So um, just if you're changing the background from um, white to a different color, just make sure you get all of the crevices in there like that because you don't want it to kind of look weird. So, um, but if I did the white one, let me just go back. Uh, let's see if it'll take me. There we go. So if I use the white one, it you can't even tell. So, you just clean it up. All right, and I like that. And then I will just bring this up here. And then bring that down there. That's good. Okay, and then you just save a copy. And boom, your picture is ready to be uploaded to your website. You just go to your website or you go to Instagram or Facebook, wherever you post your um, pictures at for your mock-ups, um, you it's ready. Basically, it's ready for you to um, sell that shirt, sell that jacket, sell whatever. So you can do that with anything. Um, you just follow those steps and then you'll have mock-ups ready for your um, website and you didn't it didn't cost you a penny. Um, so that's it. <laughs> the, um, only thing is that, um, you, it, the only thing about this way is you have to use, um, like the skin tone or the person in that picture. So if you didn't want the jeans, you could go up higher and crop out the jeans. So let me see. Uh, it'd have been better to do it with the picture. But if you got here and you was like, uh, I don't really like those jeans too much, you could. Okay, now it's freezing. Okay, there we go. Then you would take like a square. All right, and take that out because it won't let you do it. You can take a square. Crop that out. Then you will highlight all of it. So both the shirt and the uh, um, rectangle are highlighted. You will hit slice. Get rid of it. So boom. Now you just have the crop top, but you can't really tell it's a crop top. Now that you cut out the um, jeans, so it's kind of like, uh, I wanted it to look like a crop top, but you can just always put, this is a crop top, what have you. Um, but if you didn't want the bottom of the um, picture, you can do it that way too. Let me just go back. Yeah. So, or you could just cut it. Uh -oh. Let me go back. And if you keep hitting back, it will take you back to before you sliced it okay so you can always cut it down like here 
slice. Get rid of it. Okay, so ta-da. So <laughs> there you go. So then it's um you can still see it's a crop top because you can see like a little piece of the jean and so forth. If you didn't want any skin tone or anything like that, you can do the same thing, but you would have to like really easily go in and kind of crop around there and all that other good stuff. But it's totally up to you how you want your mock-ups to look like. Um that is how I um, do it from time to time if I'm not finding something in particular or I want the exact shirt to match from the site or whatever. So I kind of do this um, from time to time. But anyway, I just wanted to show you that um, if you like the content of this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you are not subscribed to my channel and you are watching this video, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also hit the notification bell to be notified when I drop new videos. All right, y'all. Until next time. Peace.